Happy Monday everyone. Um, this is weird, especially filming like with my phone this way round. Um, but it's been a long time coming. I've wanted to start up YouTube again for a long time, but you know what it's like, it's having the balls to do it. So, um, also the roadworks have literally just started outside my flat. So if you can hear that, then I do apologize, but I'll try, not, I'll try and record in between them drilling. So I wanted to come back to YouTube because I find that there's not really much space on Instagram or TikTok to chat. Um, I just kind of wanted to take you along on my day um, and just chat to you guys and be able to film longer videos because obviously Instagram and TikTok are short videos. So I thought I would just pick up the camera, whether this actually makes it out or not, I don't know, um, but we'll see. I always kind of struggle on a Monday with not motivation as such, but just getting going. Like, I feel like my brain's always a bit slow. Um, I have this expectation on me that I should be you know smashing out all these goals ticking off all of these things on the to-do list um and while that's good and I try and do that most Mondays some days I kind of just the pressure gets to me and I have to slow it down so today has been a bit of a slow Monday so far um I'm just about to have some lunch I've been doing some coaching work all morning um for my clients and yeah have just kind of taking it a bit slow but now i'm gonna have some lunch and then i need to walk to the shop to get some parcels um and then i'm training later so it is my day off from work so it's quite a slow day uh, which is quite nice but it's weird i i know that a lot of people don't actually like youtube um or like you watching the longer videos but i love them i love putting them on the background i love um just i'm nosy i think i just love seeing people's days so uh yeah thank you for clicking on this video if you have and Thanks for watching and it probably won't be the longest video ever because I'm not I'm not getting up to that much but I hope you enjoy. So because I'm at home um I always try and have something like eggs and bagel or something but look at this bagel this is the um Warburton's I don't know if anyone else is buying them at the moment but they're really like almost look burnt um but it's the last one I've got so I'm gonna have to use it. This ignore this by the way as well we put the sofa cushions on the floor um so we can sit and it's more cozy rather than on the sofa so we don't sleep there it's just the sofa we need three eggs um and i literally just scrambled eggs and bagels nothing exciting nothing crazy but fills me up and is good protein here is my lunch yeah it doesn't look the most appetizing but i'm excited i'm just gonna watch me stenders in the background while i eat my lunch let me know if you're any stenders fan i literally would love to know because there's only very few people that i know that um, like eastenders the rest just slate it um i don't want to hear it. it is the best thing ever so i'm gonna watch it because i'm quite far behind on it um and then it just started raining so i'm waiting for it to stop raining before i walk to the shop because i'm not walking in the rain also got my water um i've already drank one of these today but i'm trying to drink three um every day at least just to stay hydrated so i'm gonna drink that with my lunch because i am a bit of a coke zero addict so i'm trying to limit myself to one a day um sometimes two but one a day so i used to drink like three a day so it's gonna have to be for one from now so we just got water for lunch and i can have one with my dinner okay so i know this isn't the most flattering angle but i just wanted to talk briefly about being hard on yourself and like i was saying monday motivation that kind of thing and i just wanted to remind you um that social media isn't real life so when you're looking at people who are looking really productive you know monday morning they post something first uh, you know first thing or they're taking off their to-do list i'm sorry about the wind um that isn't always real life so just remember that your success um and your abilities aren't measured based on someone's projection of what they're doing if that makes sense so if someone seems really successful all of these things that doesn't determine how successful you are or um, how productive you're being it's simply it's your journey your life um so if you're feeling like that i just want you to take a step back for a second reevaluate your goals um because that is literally the most important thing that's the only thing that matters in that moment like you can use people as inspiration and as a drive to help you get things done but do not compare simply because you're not getting the whole picture and it's just not helpful so take a step back and understand that you are on your own path for a reason and you can set out your own goals take things at your pace um, because you can still get them done still be just as successful but in your own way um, and in your own time so i just did that awkward smile thing 
for someone just driving in. I just, I, I hate that comparison and that uh, it take, seeing other people's successes on social media can take away from your own. Um, so I just want you to, yeah, take a step back and find out what works for you, what routine works for you um, and everything like that. And then before you know it, you'll be ticking off the to-do list um, and being productive, but in your own way. So yeah. Okay, so I just picked up uh, four vintage parcels. I didn't know that I had ordered so many, but I think most of them are for James to be fair, because he's just ordered himself some new gym clothes. But I also got myself one of the Arla um, protein mango yogurts that's got 20 grams of protein. Um, because usually I have the Lidl or Aldi protein yogurts at home in the fridge, but we've run out. So I thought I'd pick myself up one of those to keep getting my protein in. I'm just gonna walk back now, listen to some music. And then when it comes to, I'll probably do a little bit of editing for some um, Instagram content. And then when it comes to choosing my outfit for the gym, I will jump on here again and choose my outfit with you. Not that you can have any input because I'll be wearing it by the time this has gone out, but you know, the thought's there. Okay, I know this light is awful, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm just about to start getting ready for the gym. So I think I'm gonna leave this sports bra on, this blue one, um, cause it's push day. But I've been wearing these trackies all day, um, but I don't like the way they, f they fit. They're not the most flattering. So I think I might put these purple shorts cause I think the blue and purple will look cute together over the top of the shorts. I might put these grey, darkish grey uh, trackies and then I think I might do this cropped um, grey sweatshirt, grey jumper and then paired with these shoes. So I'll show you the finished outfit and see if we like it. Yeah, I actually decided to change the fit and change the top um, Then I'll just put a coat on or a jumper but I think that works better because of the purple. I just got back from the gym but I didn't actually film anything at the gym um it's quite busy and I yeah I just didn't get around to filming any, anything but it was a good push session uh I'm just gonna make myself some dinner now and I'm gonna take my makeup off and do some skincare so I think I'm gonna end the video here I know it wasn't um, a long video at all but I just wanted to put something out there to get back in the flow of doing YouTube because it's quite long making YouTube videos and like having the content so I really really appreciate anyone who watches or engages with this video and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed or you want to see more and i will see you in my next video bye